<laughs> Some people think that I'm too emotional. They think I'm too emotional. And it's like, like, what am I supposed to do? You know, pretend that I don't cry? I mean, what would be the point of that? I cry. We all cry. Why can't we just, just be open about crying? Why can't we be open about emotion? I don't understand. <laughs> and you wonder why I'm crying. It's just because people are ugly. You know, it's just that their attitudes. People can be so rude. And they don't ever think about how your heart might be too sensitive for their rudeness. And it just makes me cry. So this is a confessional, okay? So that means I can talk about myself, okay, okay. I can definitely do that. Okay, so I'm going to start off by saying that I am the shit. I've been the shit since I was in diapers. And, you know, over the years, I have accumulated a lot of haters simply because I'm cute and all y'all, y'all just not. And, you know, that's not really my problem. You know, it's not my fault that two ugly people got together knowing good and well that they was ugly knowing that it was going to be a 99.9% .9 chance that shoe was going to come out ugly. And they got together and did the diddly do with no condoms. That is not my problem. I mean, I didn't mean to talk all that smack, you know. Come on now. Come on now. I really don't have much to confess. I don't understand confessionals. And I really don't know why I'm here. But since I'm here, I guess I'll talk about a little something. See this cat right here? I'm going to kill him tonight. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm really not sorry. I don't know why I'm saying I'm sorry. I like to murder things. My ex-husband, Lawrence, he used to like cats. So I murdered him too. Yes, 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 I am the twins, making me bipolar. I know. I am two different people in one body. Deal with it. Yes, one minute I'm up and I'm elated and I'm happy, and next minute I'm angry and I'm sad and I'm crazy and aggressive. Yes, that's me. And honestly, I feel like I'm going crazy most of the damn time. I want to talk. I just want to talk, 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 talk. I will talk and talk and talk. I will talk your goddamn ear off. Come on, let's talk. Let's... People be like, Gemini, shut up. You talk too much. Why you always got to talk? And it's like, they don't understand. I just can't help it. I just, I need to communicate. I need to get these thoughts out of my head or else I'm going to go crazy. Y'all don't understand. I have so much mental chaos. I need to talk. And I hate being alone because then the thoughts, they get louder and louder and louder. And then I feel like I could potentially reach psychosis. Oh, I gotta be social. I gotta talk to, to make sure I don't go crazy. Okay? Shit. I talk to people because cause I ain't got no therapist. Shit. Fame and fortune and status is of the utmost importance to me. Uh, I would literally sacrifice a loved one to the devil for fame and fortune and status. Because I just need those things to make up for my deep-rooted feelings of inadequacy. Oh my God, I can't believe I just confessed that. I love to party. I love me an adventure. I love going to the clubs and taking vodka shots and stumbling out of them clubs belligerently drunk, looking a whole fool in the streets. I love all of that. That is my idea of a good time. But one thing I don't love is when people start falling in love with me because then they expect me to be in a relationship with them and the thought of a relationship makes me cringe because relationship sounds like commitment and ain't nobody trying to commit that's boring i am still young and sexy commit for what sometimes i can be very selfish and greedy i will confess that i love to eat god damn it i love food so freaking much it is a mood booster matter of fact if me and my friends were left um on an island you know stranded somewhere i would probably be the one to eat everybody I, I honestly i would i'm not really into eating people but if i had to yeah i would i would probably eat everybody because i'd just be hungry it bothers me deeply that it seems that perfection cannot be acquired on this planet 
People always accuse me of giving unsolicited advice. They always say, you think you're so perfect. How can you tell other people what to do with their lives? You're so self-righteous and blah, blah, blah. And it's like the reality of it is that I don't think that I'm perfect. I am very aware that I'm a very flawed human being. And that's why I'm so critical of others. It's because I am so critical of myself. I have deep-rooted insecurities that I would never confess to anybody except for today. <laughs> yeah, shit, I just, yeah, today. I am really anxious right now. Yeah. Life scares the shit out of me. I am always scared. I am always anxious. Um, I have a lot of fears. A lot, a lot of fears. You know, grief. Uh, but at the same time, I will take some really, really big risks. I'm talking like them, them risks that are so big. I'm the only one taking them because everybody else is too scared to take them. I don't really understand myself. I, I don't understand how I can be such a risk taker, but at the same time, so scared of everything. I don't really understand. I, I also, I hate myself too sometimes. Uh, but uh, I, I put up a front like 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 I'm confident, but I, I really don't like myself because I'm always scared of everything. And that bothers me. I, I just really wish that I could be more confident in myself. Uh, I wish I had, you know, better self-esteem. And I just wish I wasn't so much of a goddamn weirdo. And I also wish that I could control my anger a little bit better. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, trying to control my anger. It's just that, uh, people make me so mad. I just wish that life was a fairy tale, you know? I just wish that unicorns existed. That would be really nice, you know? I just, I just wish that reality wasn't so harsh. Because... It just, it just hurts my heart, you know? And it hurts my heart that so many terrible things happen on this planet. It, it bothers me a lot. And I wish there wasn't so much suffering on the planet. You know, that's why I just kind of keep to myself. And I just journal my feelings in a corner somewhere. Playing soft meditation music. Because that's really what I wish reality was like, you know? Like meditation music. But instead, it's like heavy metal playing at the same time as degrading rap music. It's like those two are playing at the same time. That's kind of what life feels like to me. And it just makes me sad. All right, I'm, I'm just going to come right out and say it. Sometimes I say mean shit to people to make myself feel better. Yeah. Because, because, come here. Because. because because I'm insecure. Shh, don't, don't tell nobody I said that, though. Nobody knows this, but sometimes when I'm alone, I dig up my nose, and I take the boogers, and I, like, put them on, like, an art canvas and stuff, and I make art out of my boogers. Nobody knows that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like we should all be able to express ourselves the way we want. No, no, no rules. You know, I, I hate rules. Rules are disgusting. I feel like what's the point in, in having a planet full of all types of unique human beings and then have rules that restricts our uniqueness? It doesn't make sense to me. This, this planet is stupid. This planet is really, really stupid. I can be a bit of a follower sometimes because I'm just kind of scared to be myself because I'm scared people are going to judge me. And I really just want to fit in a lot of the times. And I really do care what people think about me. As much as I hate to admit that, I really, really care what people think about me. And it's a it's a hindrance. It, it's a real hindrance, and I feel like it holds me back. And when I go on dates and stuff, I, I try not to talk about myself too much because I really don't have that much of a self to begin with. So I don't really talk about myself. Matter of fact, I don't want to talk about myself no more. Let's end this confessional.